Do you want to know how to sell digital products on System.io? Then this is the video for you. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. My name is Michelle Downey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about affiliate marketing and other ways you can earn money online. Please remember to like and subscribe and please stay all the way to the end. I do have a free gift for you. How to sell your digital products on system.io? Let's get started. What is a digital product? A digital product is anything that can be downloaded, whether it's a one page PDF checklist, an ebook, a course. And if you look on my channel, you'll see some other videos explaining what a digital product is and how you can create them. What is system.io? System.io is an all-in-one business solution. With System.io, if you're involved in affiliate marketing already or direct email marketing, you may be using it as a funnel system. A funnel is a pathway that you take customers down in order to get them to take action like purchasing a product or coming onto your email list and then it also has an automated email responder. But System.io can also help you sell both physical and digital products. I personally believe that selling digital products is one of the best ways to earn money online. You create the item once and then you sell it over and over again to your audience and solving their problem. On this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how you can sell your digital products. If you don't already have a system.io account, that is where you have to start. So go on to your search engine. You'll see here that I used Google and type in system.io. It'll most likely be the first on the search engine. Click on there and go ahead and open an account. To open an account, you'll need an email address and a password. The system will then send you an email confirmation to make sure that your email address is valid. Go ahead and follow the instructions on that email confirmation email. Once you do that, you should be on your dashboard as you can now see. Once you're on your dashboard, you need to go into your account settings. The first step to getting you set up with selling your digital product is getting you connected to a payment method. The payment method that I'm going to use is PayPal. It's something that's used worldwide and most people have PayPal accounts. So it's one of the ways I would recommend that you sell your products in order to increase the number of people that can buy them. You always want to make it as easy as possible for people to purchase your products. Now there is a quirk with getting your PayPal account connected with system.io and that's something I'm going to explain here. So if you're not using PayPal, go ahead and skip ahead to the next section. You want to go into your account settings. You want to go to a payment gateway, and then you'll see a list of options of different ways that you can accept payment. I want to connect my PayPal account to system.io. I'm going to say connect with PayPal, and then you'll have to go onto your PayPal account. Once you're logged into your PayPal account, you need to make sure you have a business account. It will only work this way. You can change it on your actual account. So go ahead and switch it over to a business account. Once you do that, you will need to find the API settings. On your PayPal account, under API, you want to scroll down to NVP slash SOAP API credentials. You want to then click on there and you're going to click next on manage API. Once you click on manage API, you're going to see a screen that has your username, your password, and your signature. These are the things you're going to have to copy from PayPal onto the system.io platform in order to set up this payment gateway to sell your digital products. So it's literally just copy and paste. Once you have that done, then you can go back to system.io and click on connect. And now your PayPal account is connected to the system. 
Once you have your PayPal account connected to the system, we can move on to the next step. If you have any difficulty connecting your PayPal account to the system.io platform, on system.io, click on the word help. It's usually in the top right-hand corner, and you'll see where it says knowledge base. Click on knowledge base and just put in the keyword search, connect PayPal account, and you'll see a help sheet that will give you step-by-step -step instructions. I hope you're ready for the next step. You're gonna go back to your dashboard. Your screen should look like this. You then wanna cover over to where it says contacts, and when you click on contacts, you should see tags. Go ahead and click on tags. Next, you want to create a tag. A tag is how you're going to identify your digital product. So I'm just gonna put in my tag, test ebook, because this is just a test to show you how to set up this process. Once you have your tag created, now we're gonna create the funnel. So over to the right-hand side, you should see where it says funnels. You wanna click on funnel, create a funnel. You'll see one of your options here is sell a digital product. So go ahead and click on that box. In the left-hand corner, you wanna go ahead and name your digital product. So we're gonna name ours again, test ebook, and then you wanna select your currency. I'm going to guess that most people watching this video are in the US, so go ahead and select US dollar. You wanna click where it says test ebook and now you should see your funnel. Over to the left-hand side, it should say order form. Click on order form and you should get a page like this. You wanna fill in the circle where it says digital product and next you're gonna see the resources. The resources, you're gonna choose a tag. The tag is going to be test ebook. The next box should say payment plan. You're gonna select one-time payment. The next box you're gonna see where it says, do I need to create a new one? This is where you wanna click. You wanna type in the name of your product in these boxes. So the purposes of this video, we're gonna stay consistent and type in test ebook. This is what's going to be displayed on your order form and will also be displayed on the statement of the account of the purchaser so they can identify what they paid for. The price plan type will be one-time payment. Next, you're going to see a box with a price. Now, this is what caught me up, so I want you to pay attention here. You will see a zero in that box. You need to type next to that box the price of your item. So you'll see in this example, I'm setting it at $5. So it's going to be 0, 05 dot or decimal point zero zero. So it'll appear as $5 on my order form later on. So you can't get rid of this zero, you've got to type next to it. Once you have all of those boxes filled in, make sure you click on save so that the information can be saved for when we want to go ahead and create the order form. Once you click on save, you now should be back at your funnel page. You want to go to where it says edit page for the order form. System.io will display different templates that you can use. I would suggest that you choose one of the templates and then adjust it to your needs. In this example, here's the template that I chose. I am now going to delete information that I don't need. The way that System.io is organized is there are sections, there are rows, and there are columns. You can see that as I click into a box, I have an option to delete it, or for the text, I can go ahead and type over it. You can change the font, you can change the size of the font, you can change what's on the button, and these are the adjustments that I'm now making. I'm also going to delete a lot of information that I don't need. All I really want to capture is the person's first name and their address. I'm going to make this order form as simple as possible. Again, I want it to be easy for my potential customers to go ahead and place their orders for my digital products. One of the benefits of System.io that it does allow for this kind of customization. 
So there are blocks over to the left-hand side where you can insert text, you can insert it as a heading, a subheading, you can also put in images, you can put in videos, and then you also have the elements. The elements is where you adjust the font, the font size, the padding, the margins, the background color. All of this is possible. So I really encourage you to play around with it a bit. And it really depends on what your brand is, what are colors that you're already using on your website or other landing pages or other marketing materials that you've already used. And make sure you stay consistent with your branding as far as any logos that you have, any colors you're using, and any font that you're using as well. You'll notice on the order form that some information is already filled in based on what we put on the resources on that previous page. So it already says test ebook because that's what we put in as the name and it already has the value or the amount that we're going to charge the customer for our product. In this case, $5 and you'll see that PayPal is already displayed because we connected the PayPal account to system.io. Once you've set up the order form, the next page you need to set up is your thank you page. So the way that I have this funnel set up is that people look at the order form, they then click on the button, which brings them to the thank you page. The thank you page lets them know that their purchase has been completed, and next they can go ahead and click in order to access the book. You have two different ways to have people access their downloaded e-digital product, whatever you wanna call it. So you can either have it sent in an email with a link, or you can go ahead and put the link directly on the button so they can download now. It's up to you how you want to communicate with your customers and maybe something along with your branding that you've already done, what they're already used to. I personally just have the customers click on the button and it's automatically downloaded. I want to make it, again, I've said it before, but you want to make it as easy as possible for your potential customers. If they have to go into their emails, it could go to their junk mail, they've got to take an extra step. So really keep that in mind, depending on what you're selling and what your brand is. Whether or not you want to have it be downloadable right away, or if you want to send the link in an email but both options are possible with system.io. And that's one of the things I really like about this platform. I'm showing you here on the thank you page how you can customize it even more by putting in an image. You can put the image of the cover of your ebook, for example. In this case, I just did a very generic image just to give you an idea of how easy it is to customize these pages. And once you've gotten that completed and you've saved it, your funnel is set up and you are ready to go. If you want to see what your pages look like, I suggest you use private viewing in your browser. You'll notice that on your funnel, every step of your funnel has a link that you can copy. Click to copy the link, open up a private viewing session, put the link in, and then you'll be able to see that step in the funnel. This is exactly what someone else is going to see when they go ahead and click on that step. The next step is optional, but it's something that I would recommend. People will call it a squeeze page or a bridge page or a landing page. So if you go back into your funnel, you'll see on the bottom where you can click on create a step. I'm going to create a step of a squeeze page. On the squeeze page, I'm going to explain in one sentence, maybe two at the most, why someone should buy this item and how it's gonna solve their problem. And I'm also going to have an optional video that you can click on if you wanna get a better description or if you want more information about why I think this item will solve your problem. I also sometimes put on this page a place for people to click to go onto my YouTube channel. And there's also a button to click on in order to go ahead and go to the order form. So it gives the customer a bit of a way for you to earn their trust and to establish some authority. So like I said, this page is totally optional, 
but I think it's something that's a good idea, especially when you're just starting out or if this is someone who is brand new to you and your brand and what you're selling. So just like with the other pages, the order form and the thank you page, this page is also totally customizable by you. I took a generic page, one of their templates, and you can see that I'm adjusting it to make it as easy as possible to read, to convey the information, and to show you how you can link a video onto this page that people then can just click on that button and they can get more information and you can establish your trust and authority. So that's it. It's that easy to go ahead and set up your digital product for sale on system.io. I hope you found this information helpful and beneficial as you start your online selling journey and your path to financial freedom. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as I promised, I do have a free gift for you. This one is a free ebook, three steps to quit your nine to five job with high ticket affiliate marketing. The link is below in the subscription. And yes, this is set up on system.io. So thank you so much again, and I hope to see you on the next video.